Hello guys, today I am going to show you, how to color grade your video, like this, with just a few steps. Also I will provide 15 cinematic LUT presets. Let's see a quick preview of these cinematic LUTs. Now let's see, how to do cinematic color grade in Premiere Pro. And I will show you a few easy steps to do it. So let's get started. Here I am using this video clip. So first make a new adjustment layer. Let's call it color correction. Then add it to the timeline above the video layer. Now go to the window, and open the Lumetri scope. Then click on this settings icon. Now deselect all, just enable the parade, and the waveform. Again go to the window, and open the Lumetri color tab. Then select the color correction layer. Now under the Lumetri color tab, click on basic correction. And click on this tone right arrow key. Then decrease the black level, until this waveform reaches zero. Now increase the white level until this waveform reaches 255. Then turn down the shadow a little bit. And increase the highlight. Next we need to adjust the white balance. So click on the white balance drop down icon. Then select this color picker icon. Now click on the best white part from the program window. In my case, I am going to pick the white color from the hand. And that's it, it will automatically adjust the white balance. Then increase the saturation a little bit. You can check out the before and after, by clicking this little FX icon. Now open the curves. And under the RGB curves, make three keyframes like this. And here bottom part is the shadow, middle part is mid-tone, and the top part is the highlight. Now increase the highlight a little bit. Turn down the shadow, and the mid-tone. And always try to make the curves look like the S-shape. So it was before, and this is after. Now open the color wheels and match. And click on the comparison view. So it will open up a new preview screen, under the program window. And here you can preview the full timeline. Then go to the project panel. Now I want to match the color from my previous clip. So I just use this screenshot as a reference color but you can use any video or image. And make sure it should be similar with your video clip. So I just add this screenshot to the timeline. Now you can see this screenshot to the left preview panel. Then under the Lumetri color tab, just click on the apply match. So it will automatically apply the color grade from my reference screenshot. It's not perfectly matched with this screenshot, but I don't think it's bad. To make it same as the screenshot, I have to use the HSL secondary. So disable the comparison view. Then open the HSL secondary. And here I want to change the black color to teal color. So select this middle color picker. And choose the black color. Now enable the color gray checkbox. Then play around with the HSL to select the black color properly. And the H means hue, S means saturation, and the L means luma. Okay, it's perfect for me. Now let's add some feather on this selection. So increase the denoise, and add some blur. So that's it for the selection, you can select any specific color with the same process. Now deselect the color gray checkbox, and scroll down. So in this color wheel, we can choose any color for my selecting part. And here I want to use some teal color. Now let's increase the highlight a little bit. So just move it up. For more adjustment, you can use the temperature, contrast, tint, and the saturation. So it was the before, and this is after. And it's perfect for the black part. Now we are going to add another HSL secondary effect, to adjust the final look, without the black part. So again create a new adjustment layer. 
Let's call it look. Then add this adjustment layer to the timeline. Now select this top adjustment layer. Then under the Lumetri color tab, open HSL secondary. Select this color picker, choose the black color again. Then click on the color gray checkbox. Now use the HSL to select the black color properly. Okay, it's perfect for me. But this time, we need to invert this selection. So click on this little invert icon. Now we are selecting the full background, without the gray part. Again add some feather on it. So increase the denoise, and the blur. So our selecting is done, now deselect the color gray checkbox. Then under the correction, click on this little three circle. And here is the exciting part. Here we can adjust the shadow, mid-tone, and the highlight color. Now let's add some teal color to the shadow. Then add some orange color to the highlight, and the mid-tone. Now turn down the shadow brightness a little bit. And increase the highlight and mid-tone. Also we can adjust the temperature, contrast, and the saturation. So it was our before, and this is after. And finally let's add the vignette effect. Turn down the amount, then increase the midpoint, roundness, and the feather. So it was before the vignette effect, and this is after. Now play back the final preview. If you want to make it more cinematic, we can add the black bar. So move over to the effects tab, search for the crop effect. And apply this effect on the top adjustment layer. Then go to the effect controls tab. Under the crop effect, cut 11% from the top and bottom. And there we go. Now let's check this footage before color grading. So it was my original footage. And this is final look after color grading. And if you think it's complicated to make this color grade, you can use my cinematic LUT presets. And these presets are very easy to use. Now let's see how to use the LUT presets. So first you've to download this presets pack under the description link. Inside this presets pack, you will get 15 different cinematic LUTs. Let's see how to use them inside the Premiere Pro. First import your clips to the timeline. Then make a new adjustment layer. Drag and drop it above your clip. Adjust the duration with your clip. Now select this adjustment layer. And go to the window, open the Lumetri Color tab. Under the Lumetri Color tab, open Creative. Left side of the look, click on None. And select Browse. Now select any LUT from this presets pack. I would like to use monsters and robots. And that's it, it's pretty easy to use. And it was the before and after. Also, if you think it's too much, you can adjust the intensity as well. So that's it, you can use all other LUT presets in the same process. Let's check out more 3 presets. So that's it for today, hope that you'll enjoy this LUT presets pack. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me on Instagram. I'll see you at the next one, have a nice day.